um, by request, we're doing Queen Nyjia Misunderstood Album Review Part 1, T-O-N-P-O, by request. YouTube, it is your boy, T-O, a.k.a. M-O-D in the building, and this Pia, you feel me with her favorite she drink at her birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> just sipping, just sipping, yeah, that's just all. Sipping. Just sipping. Just a little story. Sipping. Yeah. Hmm. So really, I want this video. Dang, is it cutting off the top of my head, bro? Oh, we can see you. I know. I, yeah, we have to see yeah, that as well. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you can just do it straight, cause you know I don't do this, so you know. Yeah, it's a vibe. We're just we're just oh, sitting here. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Are you gonna, so, let's do it over here today. Listen, so I thought it'd be a cool idea if we sat down and talked about the songs on Queen's album, Misunderstood. I have some stories for some of them. All right. Damn. You know, so, Go ahead and share. Can I, can I ask some questions? Yeah, Ma, Ma actually don't know what I'm about to say. Yeah, I have no clue. I don't I have no clue. But I have some questions, though. Like, very interesting questions. Did I feel you like react you can, to... I, I haven't uploaded yet. Is Lee about to get yeah. loose, well, though? She's she sipping. Are we going to hear some tea? Like, What's she going to say? How is for you as a manager? Because it's like, you guys are running right next to each other. She's doing the art part and being an artist. You're trying to leave her in creative mode. But on the other side, you're probably stressed out. Like, people don't even know what's going on. Yeah, super stressed out. Because Queen wrote about three albums, bro. Interview on. Yeah. Um. yeah, and some of them I like. I actually want to release them. Oh, like, cool. Even if it's on some free shit. Like. Yeah, there's mad songs that I've so heard whoever, that's not. Whoever has Queen's community tab, you know, phone number, I don't know. I let those you might, you might let them, you might yeah, let them. Yeah, okay. might, might, I don't know. Dang, the lady watches this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. so listen. How um, was that process, though? It, it was stressful because, honestly, I'm not saying this because Queen's my client or my sister, but, like, Queen has never written a bad song. Mm. I believe like in my opinion like I I, very I, careful listen, I have a hole in my notes in my phone it's called side B and it's all of Queen's songs that just didn't make the album oh wow really so no, she knew to like, do the B size the right? B size album yeah I understand why it didn't make That'd the album great. like you know you have to make it cohesive so some of them didn't fit but like it's super dope mm -hmm. like super dope and I listened to it and I feel like you guys should listen to it too Aww, she wanted to so share with us. Aww, she's so me. proud of her. It was very, it was yeah. very stressful. Um, I just wanted her to be happy. You know what I mean. So like, I'm very happy that she's happy in a happy place with her music. You yeah. know what I mean. Regardless yeah. of how, like, it turned out. You know what I'm saying. And it turned out well. But I'm just saying, like, what I've just gotten to a place where, like. I just want her to be happy Aww, because when she's not happy, nice. she's going to tweak, she's not happy, she's going to bash her own music, she's going to, so being strategic sometimes mm, doesn't have, work with you me. You have to learn, you have to adapt to it. Yeah, like, yeah, so now me and Queen are like in a nice groove where like, you know, if I see her like resisting too much, I'd be like, it don't even matter. Like I tell the label all the time, it don't matter. Mm. It really don't matter. Like, because an unhappy Queen doesn't <laughs> all the stats in the world so what's the matter. difference between this process and the ep so the ep was like she just got signed she had songs written mm -hmm. the momentum was there everybody was like championing her she didn't have as i don't think she, she might have had haters but like i feel like the momentum was to support her mm -hmm. right and so as soon as we got to the label they didn't want us to do an ep but i was like oh. nah we need music right away because That's she good. only had mm -hmm. yeah, she's medicine yeah. and medicine's been out for five months yeah. five yeah. months that it. everyone was rocking with one song mm -hmm. so i'm like now nah, we have to put out an ep so we dropped the ep and then all the promo and everything followed it so mm -hmm. the label chased the music Instead of this oh, time, the this time the... we set up the music mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and even though it seems like we weren't doing anything to the public eye until like the last week and a half or two weeks. Mm -hmm. We actually were working very hard for three months. Oh, wow. Just wow. shooting stuff and yeah. coming up with creative ideas. Well, it's in a pandemic. Yeah, exactly. That we just like to get everybody together. released right before the album, right after the album. Mm -hmm. So, but we had to do all of that stuff. So it was crazy. We shot like four or five videos very long nights content pieces it was um definitely an experience definitely my first time 
you know, for an album. I know the next one's gonna be even better because I, yeah, you know, you learn. Better. Every time you do it, get better. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. I just so have those cool. questions. I just have those questions. Okay. But I feel like I know you. You know, Queen probably sits through a million interviews where you're right there. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't really get right the next to your side. Her. Yeah, you don't really get the to your side. You know. Right next to her, I also think she um, interviews way better. I'm super proud of her. Like the things they ask her and how she like deviates from it and she doesn't get mad. You know, she's getting, she's growing, so she doesn't get upset as much at things and the comments and people and stuff like that. Still got some work to do, but Queen is growing up. Yeah. And she's way more confident in, in her no's yes. and her yeses. Like yes. she, she's more just confident in what she's saying. And I think that's Those why we really her do. Because yeah. I think in the beginning, she might have said yes to me when she really didn't mean Yeah, it. now she's sure of what she wants to do. Now she like speaks in, and I love our communication. Like, Good. yeah, mm-hmm. so I'm um, Misunderstood, number one R&B album mm-hmm. in the country. Wow. Super, super Yay. proud of her. Um, I think she landed at the mid 330s. Yeah, she had like 34, I saw. Yeah, in a new climate where the bundling isn't really a no, part. No, she's going crazy. No, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, she's in the top ten in the country. I think she doesn't get that Ow. part like that. First of all, she probably has one of the most well-executed rollouts of 2020. This was a very she weird went, year. Nine, right? Right. Nine, nine in the country. Yeah, nine in the one, country. One in R&B. But I'm just talking about the rollout, regardless of how, mm-hmm. you know, the album did. But, like, just... Like there weren't many rollouts. I mean, it's it's COVID. You know, uh, we're in a new climate. You know, with the bundling and everything like that. And I think that we did one hell of a job with all the hurdles that we had to overcome. Absolutely. Yes. And I just haven't seen anybody else do it. So right. I'm very proud of Queen. You know, first of all, mm-hmm. um, but I'm also super happy about the support and everything we're getting from the label and how hard they. They like go for her, yeah, so you know not every artist feels that support. Right. You know, I'm pretty sure like Queen and I feel like we have the best label behind her in this industry, but I'm pretty sure there's somebody on Capitol that might not feel that way, oh. and that's the that's the thing. You know, like it's two sides to every coin, but mm-hmm. they're definitely behind her a thousand percent. I that's mean, great. the great. people at the label, you know weren't even supposed to be there and they used their own money to fly out and be beside us the wow. last week. I mean, wow. two, three morning at Queen's house, shooting content, doing drops and doing all of that and they didn't have to be. They didn't. That's they cool. used their own money. Wow. So they flew. That means they invested. Yes. They're heavily invested and you can't ask for anything more from a label. So very proud of the label that she's at, proud of her. Um, yeah. So we get into misunderstood now the Game process four. of this album was very very stressful for a lot of reasons so first thing i'm gonna say is i like to talk about what songwriting is okay so you're gonna see some writers on the album if you're paying attention to that stuff just because they're listed as a writer on here doesn't mean they wrote wow i'm gonna say that wow okay. Okay. If it's a whistle as a writer, doesn't mean it works. Wow. Correct. So, what were you even producing? No. So, producers are producers. I'm not going to get into the production. Because that's considered writing, too. Music. It is. But I'm talking about writing. They're not doing the music piece of it. So, now that's T. She just yeah. dropped. You know, there's a couple people dropped who claim that right. I had to settle the situation. And so, they are a part of the album. Mm-hmm. But if I'm not following them or shouting them out, they ain't right shit. <sighs> Ooh. I'm just gonna say that, and they're taking big credits on Queen. Lee is Betty Bam. You'll never see him again. Oh, Lee. Um, anything Queen related, Dang. I will say that. Uh, I really don't. I'm just, I just. I don't play when it comes to my family. Right. So for those who during this process try to take advantage of Queen, I will have the last laugh. Ooh. Yikes. Yeah, she not she playing? has a whole career. This is just the beginning. Ooh. I want to know what you'll be doing after this. Uh oh. Ooh. You won't be with us. Oh, that's fine. So, who yeah, did? Y'all that. wrong. Who did that? Yeah. Whoever did Sorry, that. I had to get that off my chest. Yeah. Get, get it off your chest, Lee. <laughs> no, no, I had to get that off my chest. Lee be dealing really with a me. lot. Yeah. yeah. And I have to be careful because everybody watches, believe it or not, 
<laughs> there's people at the label, there's people in the industry that watch T.O.P. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shout out to y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I can rap. I'll be in a rap. meeting <laughs> somewhere, I'll be somewhere, and they'll be like, man, how you got a channel? I'm like, you watch? It's dope. It's dope. Yeah. So I gotta be careful. But yeah, if I'm not following them, and I once was following oh. them. Uh oh. safe to say some shit went down oh dang Lee. wow so i'm gonna say that so good luck with your career all right so <sighs> we got hey, 18 fam. i'm just yes. gonna get into this real quick yeah all right look at so, i know what's your favorite look, look for i feel like I'm i mean she should have told everybody they need a strong dude. drink like, for this right and, and, and like why my favorite song on the album. It's hard to pick a favorite, but like maybe one yeah, that's hard like, to pick a favorite. Right. You know, it's your like, favorite. Like, Comment below. Right. Comment below, y'all. Favorite in terms of like just bumping the car, mm -hmm. right? Because it's different. Kind like, of yeah, you got different vibes. One time with two C. Okay, that's my vibe. You feel me? I really like one time. Like that's just my vibe. One time for the now, one my time. Favorite is definitely say what you mean, mean what you say. Uh -huh. That's crazy. Okay. So, Good that's my favorite. I have two as well. I love it. And I that's too much to say. It's those two. Okay. So, I have, I love all the songs. So, it's really hard to pick a favorite. Right. But when I want to be in my bag, bag, mm -hmm. beautiful. Aww. Mm. Like, I just, when things just keep, like, things just seem to be going wrong or I'm overwhelmed or, like, mm -hmm. you know, even through this process, because I had this music, obviously, I've been sitting with it. So, like, I put on beautiful like it just calms me that it just like a whole Aww. that's just my yeah that's my thing so yeah, that's good vibe music um but the other one that like uh you know just is a favorite of mine is without you featuring russ mm. oh yeah yeah Ooh, so let me tell you why like she was she, i remember when she made this song and it's just crazy because when queen is doing her music her voice I feel like it's one way, right? And then when she sings gospel, right, collaborate. her song, her her voice literally changes. That's true. Right? Yeah. Like if you pay attention, it's like it's a different feeling. Like That's true. It's a different vibration I get from it, right? Yeah. And then when she does features with other people like a boogie, like she almost becomes swaggier. Like it's just she weird. Right? Off of her. Yeah. This track, first of all, the the melody, the the beat, and everything. Is she? Her voice changed again in a way I've never mm -hmm. heard. So like, it really reminds me of like Amy Winehouse. Like, if you listen to Amy Winehouse, mm -hmm. like she just she just got in a different bag, and it's scary because Queen is only at the beginning of her career. Yeah, Queen. And the things that she could do with her voice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's a it's lot of kind of comparison for her. It's not. I, I, no, I, it I, is I'm Amy Winehouse. I could play it for you. Mm -hmm. uh, when we get off, I he might not even know who Emmy really Winehouse is. Yeah, he may not. Like, listen to it, right? And then Russ just killed it. He just slid on it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Russ, you know, and his manager. Like, man, there's some good people out here in this industry. That's good. Yes. So, for the intro, the intro was actually a song that the they didn't really want on there, you know, with the voices and stuff. I just didn't want litigation. Oh. I was okay with it. Um, but. You know, she got some of her loyal, I want to say supporters, to reenact some of the things that have been said to her over the oh, last couple supporters? of years. Yes, loyal supporters. Because the, what they don't know is that we had, like, did a run with, like, all of us. Yeah. Like, we all yeah, tried we, to do it. Yeah, we all tried to We had it. the original voices, then we did it, and she didn't want us, because she said people would recognize our voices. And <laughs> yes. Then, she just did it with her, some loyal supporters. But group chat right for sure and i think it's i think it's dope this is what this was one of the calls where like we were like uh do we want some negativity attached to the album or should we just let it be beautiful because it's a beautiful body of work but queen had the last say so and she really wanted it and again i like the intro an unhappy yeah. queen is, is it's intro, intro, i like the intro it's just more of a it's more of a you're only gonna listen to that on the first time yeah, yeah. after that it really doesn't matter as a complete body of work yeah, right as a complete i way. think the thought was do you why want, she's missing 20 years from now do you want to hear that mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. 
And I think Queen might. I think Queen might want to relive that moment in her life. Yeah, her yeah. yeah. yeah her as a listener, as a listener, you're starting at two. Gotcha. Wait, but you listen to it though. You listen to the one first the first time. Because you first gotta time. absorb it all mm-hmm. right in context. So yeah. Number two is too much to say. Now I feel like that is the R and B version of the Meek Mill intro or Cardi B's Get Up Nine, Get Up Ten, whatever that song is. Like it's like she's rapping. But she's singing, you know, oh, like she's rapping, she's like she's really, really spitting that story. shit. She's, she's really spitting that story. shit right there. Yeah. And I remember, right there. and it's good because it's like she's introducing everybody um, to her story. Right? I wasn't with her that day. I don't know why I wasn't with her that day. Maybe I was in New York. And she sent it to me. And when she sent it to me, I started to tear. Mm-hmm. Don't, I was going to say, don't the tell me you leave tearing like, up. I didn't That's know. I feel her though. The second verse kind of hit me hard. Like, I knew about the first verse, but the second verse, I was like, Y'all know I'm a cry baby. Like, Queen, did you really? Is this like you storytelling or did you really? Right. And she's like, Yeah, and she told me about it. And it, oh, it was wow. a very emotional oh, conversation. Gosh. And like, this is one of the reasons why I feel so protective of Queen. Like, Absolutely. I just. Absolutely. I don't know, man. That was a tough. That was a tough song, and we went back and forth. She didn't know she wanted to do it because this is exposing like Absolutely some personal, you yeah. know. And and we came down to it. She said, "Lee, this could be helping somebody. Right. You know? That's somebody might turn this on. Somebody who's going through it or whatever like right. that. And this might get them through it. So I can't be, you know, think about myself. And I'm like, yo, Queen is just an awesome person for real. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, so- like comment and subscribe click the bell become part of the noto squad get us to 100k